Hello? Hello, Dad? Hey. Hey, how are you? Hey Keep It Crazy family, we're coming to you again with the same setting. <laughs> <laughs> we just did yesterday's well, video sitting here and I'm like, we can't do this again, but... We have to tell you this you'll news. You'll see why. Like, we have to do this again and we're just going to explain what yeah, happened. Something we, happened today that is like <sighs> super mind emotional. blowing. Super emotional. Totally emotional. I mean, yes. incredible. Good, super happy. Yes, super happy. So, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you okay, let's, we gotta what? give you a little bit of backstory. There's been a lot of questions in the past about the relationship between Aubrey Addison and Harlan uh, and Miles, who used to be in our home. Um, so, technically speaking, they don't all have the same dad, but like most of them have different dads. So, Aubrey's dad is is Steven. Who which we have met. done, yeah, you've met him. You've we've seen him done before. that video on our channel of yeah. meeting him up after so long. And he he's the one that lived most of, with them. Yes. yes. And so most of them think of him as their dad. As their dad, yes. Yes. But technically, biologically, no. he is Aubrey's dad. Addison's dad, we think, has We've been it. told that we've he been told that he away. passed away in a car accident. We were told a name, we looked it up, and there was a car accident. There's no way to verify if he was her, really her dad or not. So, now, Harlan... Harlan and Miles had the same dad. Yes. So... Miles is, is a foster kid that we tried to adopt and it just yes. ended up not working out. However, he still calls us mom and dad. We're still really close. And um, then we talk to him, the kids talk to him. There's still a relation, relationship the, the, there. Yes. And he's turning 18 soon. Yes. So, I was speaking... Oh, well, right, real quick. So, we were also told that um, Harlan's and Harlan's dad had passed away. Harlan yes. and Miles' dad had passed away too. So um, today I was talking with Miles just over Facebook and we're, we're just chatting. And um, I had watched a video that he had done and it was about him um, moving in, or when he turns 18, he was gonna move in with his dad. Well, we love Steven, Aubrey's dad. Yeah. We thought that's what it was. And, I, and, and so I said to him, that's so excited that you're going to go stay with Steven. We love him. That's great. And He's he like, said, Steven. Steven. Steven's not my dad. Steven's not my dad. And I was like, wait, what do you mean? He said, well, um, child, what's it called? Child services had found his dad, his biological dad, like a year or two ago. <sighs> And he reconnected with him. And he reconnected with them. So, I'm sorry if this story is super confusing already. <laughs> it's kind of confusing to us. Yeah. So anyway, so um, Miles and Harlan talk all the time. So I yeah. figured Harlan already knew that his dad was alive and, you know, and so I went in, dinner was done at this point today. And so I go into his room, I'm like, hey, dinner's done, why don't you come and eat? And I said, you know, I just got done talking with Miles, how exciting that he's gonna go live with your biological dad. And he like, all of a sudden I just saw his face just what? drop, like what? And he goes, my dad passed away. And I was like, oh honey, your dad is very much alive. And he, he just broke down. broke down. I mean, just to his knees, just crying. He just couldn't believe it. Um, I can't even imagine. No. You know, knowing, thinking that your dad's passed away, and then all of a sudden finding out he's very much alive. So, um, I said you need to reach out to Miles and talk with him about it. You know, if you want to, we would absolutely support you reaching out and talking to him. Yeah. Towards dad. So, um, he did. He went and talked to Miles. And Miles reached out to his biological dad to make sure it was okay that we called and gave us the phone number. So, this next part, we're gonna show you the video of him first talking with his dad. Which I got permission. Harlan wanted, to, Harlan wanted this wants on to camera. Show this. We think it's a little bit personal, um, but it is exciting. He's super excited about it. Um, you can tell in the video that he's 
so excited that he's just crying or that he had all these unanswered questions that he wanted to, to find out. We're not going to show you the whole phone call, um, but we are going to show you a good portion of it. So here it is. Hello? Hello, Dad. Hey. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good, son. Don't. It's all right. I'm, I love you. I love you. Don't. No, it's all right. I love no. you too. I'm glad I. I'm glad I got to to talk to you. It's really nice to hear your voice. You still growing up? Hey, it's been a long time. Why did we leave? Like, why did Will take us? I don't know. I don't. I really don't know. That's something that I try to figure out for a long time. I mean, you know, I I did the best I could and I try to provide for everything I could for you guys and she I, I guess she just had a change of heart you know she didn't she didn't want to be with me no more I really I honestly can't answer that she one day she just what happened was one day I got you guys your own apartment I got her a place I was uh Living in my own apartment, I was working. I'd come over and visit you guys when I could after work, every day after work, really. And then on the weekends, I'd come over and sit with you guys and babysit you while she went and did her thing. And she said she was looking for work. She would take the car. I would be there with you, Jacob, Aiden, Jason, and I'd take care of you. And then one day, she, I went back and she was gone, the, you guys were gone, the furniture was gone, everything was gone. I have no idea why she did what she did. And ever since all this happened, when she got, the kids got, you guys got taken away, I couldn't find you. I was looking for you, I couldn't, I didn't know where you guys were at. I had, um, your mom, your mom's mom's your grandma i had her phone number i tried to call she kept saying she didn't know where she was at or she wouldn't answer the phone no one would tell me where she, where you guys were at and it was going on like that for years i tried and i looked on facebook i i couldn't find nobody i couldn't find you guys i didn't i didn't see nothing and then one day i was in i was working i was in um, wyoming and I was, I remember I was in like a, a, the line at the Wendy's to get something to eat and I get a phone call telling me it's you guys that they, uh, this lady named Andrea, I guess she uh, was like a, worked with the social, uh, child services I think it was and she said she, um, she had Jacob and she was, she told him that I was around and, you know, she wanted to know if I wanted to, to be in contact with you and or be in contact with Jacob and get back into his life and I told her yeah absolutely and then we, we started talking and that's how I that's how I got back with Jacob and then and me and Jacob met and you know it was in the, the uh, some office in like Mesa and then they told me that you got you got adopted so your name changed and everything and you know, I'm, I'm glad you were able to get out of that, being in that group home that Jake, Jacob's still in. But uh, they said I couldn't have any contact with you. And like, no one gave me any kind of information. I asked if I could call and talk to you. And they said that um, it would probably be too traumatic or something like that at the time for, for me to get in contact with you. So that's, that's why I haven't I tried to reach out or anything because I didn't want to, you know, make you upset or uncomfortable with anything. But I mean, this, these are all the rules that were told to me. So I was just trying to follow the rules and I was hoping one day that I would be able to say hello to you and, you know, be yeah. able to be in your life. Cause I, I never, I never stopped caring about you. I didn't give you guys up. I didn't, I didn't walk out on you guys. I didn't. 
Okay, we're gonna end the call there. Um, it's super emotional. So you can see why this afternoon has been really difficult. Um, our entire family was just crying, like so excited for him. It's happy tears, more <sighs> it's, than it's anything. It's happy tears that we Yeah, found I mean, this him. is cool. Yeah, so we're, what, what happens next? And so we ended the phone call with, we would love to go together with him. So we are going to be doing that. Um, we're not right now. Not right now we're, with the COVID-19 situation. We're in quarantine. So. We are in quarantine. But as soon as all this kind of blows over, we are absolutely going to reconnect to them. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so anyway, I mean, this is so cool. This, this is, is so cool. So and Harlan cool. really wants to keep this as a memory. Yeah. And he wanted to record all of it. So, yeah. Um, this is something that for me, uh, I mean, I'm going to remember this forever. This is super cool. So. Yeah. But um, thank you guys so much for watching and sticking yeah. around with us for. We're sorry again. This is not a normal. Some video. of these experiences are just so cool. We <laughs> this have to was share a cool them. one though that we really yeah. wanted to share. So. Yeah. Thank you guys anyway, so much. Thank you for your love and support. Yeah. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.